Where it's taken seven years for this, three bidding competitions and one failed attempt to negotiate a no bid contract. But Cincinnati finally has selected a company to build and operate a boat dock on the city's waterfront. WCPO 9 IT reporter Dan Monk has been following this story for months. That's right, and he introduces you to Cincinnati's newest dock worker. How about you, Mike? You got a copy? Justin Cooper is president of the landscape supply company H. Hafner & Sons. So how did he win a city contract to build this near Cincinnati's public landing? We've got considerable experience with managing the Manhattan, Manhattan Harbor Marina. The Harbor Master confirms Cooper was a part-time manager of this Dayton, Kentucky Marina for four years. And I've always had an affinity for boating, um, especially with, uh, with my travels between here and Florida back in uh, uh, to be able to, to have the opportunity to run a marina and to be able to do it in Cincinnati is an opportunity that I, 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 I couldn't pass up. The Cincinnati Park Board chose Cooper's proposal over a rival bid by Queen City Riverboats this morning. Yeah, we're going to have a floating bar that's going to be considered a headboat, but on that headboat will be a restaurant and bar, as well as shower and restroom facilities for the marina customers, as well as a laundry facility for overnighters. This is about the spot where the restaurant and headboat would be, with the docks extending a few hundred feet that way. That means any boater using these docks would have a 12-minute walk to the Holy Grail. Boaters especially are eager to, eager to visit the city. Um, that's an amenity that they haven't had access to for many, many years. Did we mention it's free to most boaters? Day boaters can come and go as they please. Uh, the only time charges will be levied is if they chose to stay overnight and utilize electric services. Today's vote enables the city to negotiate a contract with Hafner & Sons. The city will spend up to $2.2 million up front, while Hafner pledges a percentage of its restaurant and mooring revenue to pay back the city's investment within 20 years. Reporting from downtown, Dan Monk, WCPO 9, IT.